All right, so first one up for induction today, Tiger fans, may I present to you Rex Call, Director of Sports Medicine. Rex Call came to DePauw in 1980 for the first of two stints in Greencastle as the only athletic trainer for all of DePauw's teams. He retired in 2016 as the Director of Sports Medicine and as a faculty member with rank of Associate Professor. In 30 years, Call oversaw athletic training healthcare for thousands of DePauw student athletes. Through his work and dedication, he significantly expanded the athletic trainer and team physician care provided to DePauw athletic teams and our student athletes. Call earned his bachelor's degree in 1979 from Ball State University and his master of science degree in physical education with a specialization in athletic training from the University of Arizona in 1980. At this time, Rex, please join Rich at center stage as we learn more about your time with DePauw Athletics. Good morning, congratulations, Rex. Thank you, Rich. Just a couple of questions, starting with your amazing career at DePauw as athletics tra um, trainer, and you've won all kinds of awards, including the Ball State Cardinal Sports Medicine Society Ring of Honor, and wondering if you um, can comment on, on an, any particular award that stands out. Yeah, over the years, uh... I, uh, you mentioned the Ball State Ring of Honor, which is a special award, uh, some awards from the Indiana Athletic Trainers Association, particularly the uh, College Athletic Trainer of the Year in 2002. But I think, uh, Rich, hands down the induction today and to the DePaul Hall of Fame is the uh, most meaningful award for me professionally. And I would say, uh, I make that statement uh, because it represents a lifetime of work to advance the sports health care of our DePaul teams and our DePaul athletes. And uh, that continues today. Dr. Harsha, Kara Campbell, Lisa Lazar, keep moving the ball forward. Uh, also, uh, I think it shines a light on athletic trainers on the profession and what a uh, key role that they play uh, in an inter intercollegiate athletic program. Uh, and then lastly, uh, it means a lot from a family standpoint. My first year here was 1980, and so our family life has really just been interconnected with DePaul. And I'll tell you a quick story, because it's right from the beginning. In <clears throat> 1980, remember the date, July 7th, uh, I interviewed with Tommy Mont, was in Bowman Gym, and I was finishing my master's degree at University of Arizona. Carol and I were married. Uh, and so I made my way to DePaul for the interview in Bowman Gym that day, went up those old wooden steps, for those of you who uh, had the pleasure of knowing Bowman Gym, met with Coach Mont, was excited about that opportunity because, uh, I mean, he was just a legend. Uh, I knew he had played at, uh, for the Washington Redskins and had been at University of Maryland and then with the Monon Bell and Wabash-DePaul rivalry, so it was exciting. I was nervous that day. But a lot of the nerves had nothing to do with the, inter with the interview because Carol was back in Tucson expecting our first child, Nate. And uh, so uh, it was kind of pins and needles all day. And I got through the interview. It went well. And Coach Mott said they'd uh, let me know within a day or two. So I headed to the airport. And in those days, you went to the pay phone, put your dime in, and made your collect call. So I called Carol Collect, and she said, everything's great. And I said, well, I'll be home in a few hours. So I landed in Tucson, and a colleague of mine was at the airport to greet me. So I knew right away she had gone into labor. So uh, he rushed me to the hospital, and I got there, I think, about 8 o'clock. Our son, Nate, was born just after uh, midnight. So uh, I think the next day, Coach Mont called and offered me the position. And uh, so that was really the first time family life really just kind of intersected with, with DePaul, but it was uh, quite a two days and memorable two days. Well, speaking of, of family um, and relationships, and you know, Bob Quast is, is one graduate here who stood up a moment ago and said he came to DePaul because of you. And you know, Bob is one, one of thousands of student athletes. We all know Rex Call. <clears throat> Um, and they say that athletics is a relationship uh, business, and you've had 30 years to develop um, a lot of relationships, and I was wondering if you could share with everybody how these relationships 
uh, were key in your longevity and your career success? Yeah, I think without a doubt the, uh, the relationships and the bonds were paramount to uh, my longevity here at DePaul for, you know, sustaining me for 30 years because you, you have the rewards of working in your profession. Uh, but what really made it special were the, the special bonds that formed, and that was with athletes, uh, with coaches, with my athletic training staff, the team doctors, uh, with, with uh, also, as you mentioned, I uh, wore two hats. So uh, I taught in kinesiology every semester of the 30 years I was here, so I also connected with students in the classroom. And uh, Bob uh, Quas, you mentioned, just kind of epitomizes that relationship uh, he was probably one of my first students uh, when I came in the early 80s, and uh, Carol and I developed just a great relationship with him. We got to know his uh, parents. We even got to know his grandparents. Um, and then working with athletes, another thing that was very special, um, especially in, when you're working on a day-to-day -day basis uh, with athletes that are going uh, on longer-term rehab. So you may be working months and even up to a year with that athlete, one-on-one, -on -one, intensive time trying to help them return to play safely and get back to the sport they love. So that was rewarding to see them go back on the field and know that you were a part of that, but it was also uh, rewarding because it, in, in most instances it established just a lifelong uh, relationship. And then taking care of brothers and sisters from the same family. And I know uh, I took care of a few of the Bonacorsis and uh, in just in every every sport to see brothers and sisters sometimes two three four that would were coming to DePaul uh, was just uh, very special and then that uh, relationship with the coaches and athletic trainers that were on my staff the team doctors <clears throat> you're working uh, you're working side by side with them um, and um, you share experiences in in athletics the wins the losses the ups the downs uh, the adversity, and then uh, you share that, and road trips. Uh, I've always said, Bill Wagner and I, behind the scenes, we need to write a book about 30 years of behind the scenes with DePaul Athletics because uh, <clears throat> there's just so many great memories and so many uh, shared uh, experiences there. So um, I, uh, as I got down towards the end of my career, <clears throat> I had collected a lot of uh, thank you notes and thank you letters from athletes, from coaches, um, from athletic trainers, uh, even from other schools, from other athletic trainers at other schools. So as I got down towards the end, every once in a while, uh, that was in my office. I kept it in a folder in the file cabinet. I'd pull that, pull that out, pull that folder out, read a few of those, and uh, it reaffirmed DePaul was the right place for me and I was doing the right work. Well, that's something there are a lot of people that are um, want to express your their thanks to you, Rex, and, and I know that you wanted to thank some special people as well, so let, let me turn it over to you for, to, to wrap it up. Thank you, Rich. Yeah, I want to uh, thank the Hall of Fame committee. I'm going to pull a couple of notes out here, but I want to thank the uh, Hall of Fame committee for this tremendous honor and recognition, and uh, it's really humbling to be included. Uh, with this class of 2019 because it's an outstanding uh, group. So first off, congratulations to all the other inductees, to Coach Steele and the 83-84 uh, basketball team. And I also want to thank my family and friends for coming out today to celebrate with me and to be a part of uh, this special occasion, uh, especially my, my wife Carol for her love and support during this journey. It's not easy being the spouse of an athletic trainer. Uh, while I often was away, Carol was the constant for her family juggling her own work with parenting and at the same time always supporting my work and always cheering on the DePaul Tigers year after year. She hosted cookouts and dinners at our house for the athletic department, for DePaul teams, for athletic training students, for classroom students. Thank you, Carol, so much. <clears throat> Many of you know our three children, Nate, Chad, and Megan, they all grew up at DePaul and they're here today along with their spouses and our nine grandchildren who are down there all decked out in black and gold. <clears throat> so thank you to them for being here and for sharing the moment with me. And who knows, maybe, maybe one or more of those grandchildren will continue our family story at, at DePaul. I also want to recognize my mom who's here today. My parents and grandparents instilled in my brothers and me the importance of uh, family, faith, hard work, 
<clears throat> and helping others. So thanks, thanks, Mom. <clears throat> There's so many staff athletic trainers and team doctors who were colleagues and who worked closely with me over the years. I want to express my deepest appreciation to each of them for their passion and for their dedication to the health care of DePaul athletes. I want to especially recognize and thank Dr. Mark Stevens, who gave me great support as DePaul's team orthopedic doctor for over 25 years. We worked side by side. Bill Wagner has been a great colleague and friend, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with him. To the DePaul coaches that I worked with over the years, thank you for believing and trusting in me and for the opportunity to work with, with your teams. I also want to acknowledge uh, Stevie Baker Watson and Paige Cotton for their administrative support and for their confidence in me. Two of my former ADs are no longer with us, but I'll always have fond memories and be grateful to Tommy Mott and Ted Catula for hiring me. In closing, thank you to Paul for this tremendous honor and for allowing me to serve as your athletic trainer for 30 years.